Welcome back for another craft beer review by yours truly, Jenny Smith. So I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Ours was interesting. We went to the neighborhood's Oktoberfest party. So no one's shirt came off, but there's a couple in the neighborhood who seems to have some marital issues and decided to bring it to the party. A little awkward. So anyways, today's is an ale and it is brewed by Bell's Brewery based out of Comstock, Michigan. And this is called Hell Hath No Fury. See this? Even Satan is afraid of a scorned woman. Or maybe she's a little hangry. Or maybe this is my neighbor's husband and his wife shaming him for letting everybody know what was going on behind closed doors. So, I poured it into my glass mug. Very dark, dark brown to it, thick. The aroma is um, very light, a toasted something. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. it, like a vanilla maybe, not quite sure. So what Bell's Brewery has to say online is that originally conceived along the lines of a Belgian double, Hell Hath No Fury Ale morphed during development into something entirely different. Brewed with Belgian Abbey-style yeast, Hell Hath No Fury Ale is more akin to a roasty stout, offering warm, roasted notes of coffee and dark chocolate with fruity and clove-like aromas. So maybe that's the smell I was getting, that clove-like aroma. Not quite sure. So I get a little bit worried when I hear to roasted notes of coffee. Does that mean it's going to taste like burnt coffee or a nice dark espresso roast? So we'll have to see about that. And then the fruity and clove like, I'm hoping that's kind of ties into the flavor. I, I would really like that. It would be a nice surprise versus just chocolate and coffee and beer, which can be very nice. I've reviewed a few that have been really good. So let's just see. Cheers. That's very nice. It doesn't taste like burnt coffee. It is a dark roast. I get almost, well, I'm not sure that I get a chocolate flavor in there and almost like a, a caramel, like a, yeah, a, a real, not a smooth caramel taste, but more of a, a bitter, more bitter caramel. Not bad. Um, I kind of, now I'm kind of getting a taste towards the back of my mouth. Something fruity. It's kind of like when you do eat a dark chocolate and it has been blended with like orange or raspberry. I'm kind of getting that, um, an orange dark chocolate taste in my mouth. <laughs> That's odd. That's not bad. That wasn't bad at all. I have to say Bell's Brewery. Hell hath no fury. Zero to ten. Hmm. Eight and a half. That's a pretty good blend. I'm not getting a bad aftertaste. Let's try it again. That's pretty good. I like that. So if you like a darker roast coffee with the beer, which is a hint of like a, a fruity flavor at the end, I'd say that would be a, a good choice. So Bell's Brewery, Hell Hath No Fury. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I will have another review for you probably in 12 hours. <laughs> I have to make up for my last time over the weekend. So thank you. Have a wonderful night. Goodbye.